evening. Hello. Hello. Today, I'm going to mostly be your controversial comedian, okay? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, what I want to start and talk about first, I want to talk about these street kids in Cambodia, in Phnom Penh, that kick their flip-flops into the road. Yes? This new game craze thing that's going on. Right? Now, they're missing something. What they need to do is quite simple. They need to get the foreign people involved in this and they need to borrow their shoes to kick into the road. They could set up a racket with all the thieves where they kick the um, shoe into the road. The thief pops along on his motorbike, steals the shoe and sells it 50% off to a landmine victim. Oh, never, I told you I was controversial. Come on. It's a comedy club, fuck off. Right. Okay, right. Talking about my Mrs. Sophia, she's absolutely beautiful. And I try my best to be a sweetheart around her. Doesn't always work. But, the other day, I went home from work. And I wanted to fart. So, I popped my ass out of the balcony like that. And she took, and my is not very good, excuse me. She turned around to me and said something like, Jut at the cow, which apparently means you've shit your fucking pants again, haven't you? <laughs> now, we do have a very healthy sex life, I've got to admit. She's awesome. The other day I was down there, I was having, I was having a bit to eat. I'm trying to be polite today. I was having a bit too... All right, fuck it. I was eating her out. I was eating her pussy. All right. Anyway, she came on the... She came on a period. Just suddenly. Never mind. Never mind. I carried on, mate. That's what fucking happened. I carried on. Um, anyway, I, I popped up. Ten minutes later, I had a face like Hannibal Lecter. I'd eaten her out with some fava beans and a nice bottle of Chianti. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Right, now, I know some of you girls have boyfriends, obviously. Um, do not be pissed off when you catch him wanking. Don't. He's better at it than you. Much better. Right, my missus got really pissed off with me for having a wank. I had to promise never to bring the lady boy home again. Now, I've, I've been getting a lot of criticism, really, for my stand-up style, because it can be a little bit dark, really. Um, and I just want to make this really, really clear. I don't hate gay people. I'm not a queer basher. I don't hate gays. I've got no problem. I've got gay friends. I love my gay friends. I love all gay people. More pussy for me. <laughs> now, I've got a friend. He took a couple of days off work the other day because he found a seven inch uh, worm up in his colon. I warned him about Lady Boys. Warned him. He's moving to India next week. He's going to become a snake charmer. <laughs> Has anyone ever been to that secret bar? Have you heard of that secret bar? It's called the secret bar. And he's got a secret name too, which I can't even pronounce. It can't be that secret. It's always fucking packed when I go. You dirty bastards. Alright. Now, I also want to point out the definition of an NGO. An NGO, in my opinion, is a guy on a 5,000 a month salary, uh, lives in a villa, he's got a Lexus and a driver. So if I tell any NGO jokes, that's who I'm fucking targeting. <laughs> now, I want to talk about an idea that I've had for clearing landmines in Cambodia. We should send the landmine victims in. They've got less to lose. Now, if you don't like that idea, never mind. If you don't like that, we'll send the NGOs in. They've got a lot to lose. Yeah. All right. 
So, um, this is it for me. This is my last one. Um, if, um, sorry. Don't believe the hype about NGOs. It's empty bullshit. It really is. Um, what you need to think about um, with NGOs is they're here for the same reason as everyone else. Sex. Uh, sex, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that in a minute, Flower. Um, but yeah, sex is one. And uh, yeah. See, look what you've done now. Fucking hell. Right. Don't believe the hype about NGOs. Empty bullshit. All right. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on. Come on from Manchester. Come on. Right. Empty bullshit and NGOs. Don't believe it. They're here for the same reasons as everyone else. They've just got more money to do it. Cheap cigarettes. Cheap booze. Um, cheap blowjobs off the enemy's hookers. Sex, yeah? Just like you said. Alright, thank you very much. My name's Carl C. I'm a bit of a cunt. Leave me alone. I'm alright, really.